hi guys so let's do a quick top-down analysis on chenik let's see the lowest um so this is my lowest right yep yes so that is our lowest ever on chenik on trading view so we all know currently we are still on a downtrend, right? Yes, you're still on a downtrend. So let's just take. Yeah, we know we break this line right here. Let's go to my weekly time frame. So let's break it down one step at a time. It make it easier for us. Yeah, easier for us to analyze to break down. So. Let me see if something makes sense here. Hmm. Not really. So I'm going to remove it. Let's just face our current problem here. Yeah. Okay. I think I see something here. You can probably draw a trend line here. Yeah. So this make easier when you to me top down analysis right if you dissect it one step at a time it say, it says a story and it makes it easier for you to understand the next um, move right you can see yep so there is a possible um, it's possible that if it, if the market gets here it might reject because we've been rejecting off of the side here so that tells a story. So let's see what next we can pick. We so we can see a three pull top right there. There's a beautiful three pull top right here. So let's draw a zone to fit that top, right? We can see a three pull top. So good. Now, now we can now work on something now that it's much easier to work with. So that's why I love top down analysis. It's make um it easier. Since we are more of like consolidating in a rectangular, we are consolidating in more of like a rectangular shape. This box will work for it rather than a trend line. Yep, so box will work for it. A rectangular box exactly something like this will work right another the really trend line so we see how easy it is to analyze sometimes right we just have to break down and by set and it's just the more you buy set the more it just get easier and simpler for to work with to be honest so let's see now that i've like set here this beautiful hat <laughs> Let's see what next, right? We can see now that we are in a consolidating phase right now. So now we are more in a downtrend and you know whenever it gets sorry, you're more in this down move right here. And we've known that looking at the previous action, right? Whenever it gets to that level, it reverses up. And we can see based on our previous practice action we can see whenever i got here we pushed up we got here we pushed up we got here we pushed up we got here we pushed down we got here we might push up so it's just that simple so um yep so we might push up that's what i'm saying we might push up because of the reaction we've been seeing so far so yeah so but let's just see we see overall we are still on a downtrend right overall we are still on a downtrend we can see there is an impulse here a correction in a rectangular shape correction something like this uh, okay let me I think i want it the first of all let me take it one step at a time i think um so an impulse a correction then this level right this is my level right here i'm thinking it might come to my negative 27.2 percent fib level and that is 2.73 so that is my level as of the moment right here right that's what i'm thinking but we can another scenario is you may push up 
and as long as we break this zone it's on a buy move so my broke um, push up break the zone retest the zone toss the straight line to give us a touch right a third touch yeah to give us a third touch then we push down to our overall target right first scenario second scenario is push up here push up there and retest it and get here right this level right here and the reason is because we can see we broke out of this level right here and we haven't retested yet so we might see a possible retest at that level then we get to our target where our target that is also a possible scenario so and the possible scenario that's i think the second scenario the third scenario i can't recall but another scenario is we might push up right we might push up a little bit to this zone right here then push down as usual then we might break this zone come here to retest then push down to our overall um, target so that's another scenario right so but let me now i've given you my bigger picture right what's the bigger picture of it that is it currently but let's face the current picture right so the current picture is we might push up to this level again just like it has been doing before so let me use my fib level so i've drawn my fib right and that's why i love my fibonacci um strategy right fib strategy is just go well with structure which i love and we can see that um, my overall target is exactly within the zone that is why fib sometimes just works so much with market structure and that is why i like the fib strategy it works so well with structure yeah so yeah and we can see right if you zoom in a little bit let's see how it's forming it's forming like an impulse a correction kind of a face maybe something like this then we push up to our first profit right oh sorry our first target right here then my second target right here let me just use the price to just indicate that so yeah my first target is around 18 let's see cut me into 40 let me round it up to 30 points yep so on this one and it's exactly within the zone so it's a perfect um 200 let's see 15 right yeah so those are just my target right the first target and the second target right there so um, yep mm. so let's see how it goes right but this is we are still currently on a sell right we are still currently on a sell so for this price action what i'll be waiting for is a break of structure i wanted to break the structure right here right for us to know that we are possible there's a probability of it now pushing up right just because it um it shows in a perfect picture doesn't mean it's you do exactly the way we want it right so we have to be kind of flexible so um let's see a break of structure i'm waiting for a break of structure that i know okay then a break of structure then a possible coming down here to retest right then we push up then that's like a change of character so that has more confluences and that kind of give you like a confidence for you to push higher so don't take trades now on buy right if you're taking trades don't take trades now on buy just wait for a break of structure right a retest after a break of structure we know yes a break of structure wait for it to come back to retest on the imbalance right 
and that viral is like a change of character then we now push up to this level right here then the second level right here then the possible third level and that level right here like i said so that is just my overall picture on chain leak hope this is insightful and please don't forget to subscribe share and like and if you have any question just leave it down in the section box below and i'll do my possible best to answer to the best of my ability thank you